my old friend, Saruman. And again, just the, st the story of how he wanted to be Gandalf, even had the blessing to be Gandalf, but man... You are sure of this? Beyond any doubt. So the Ring of Power has been found. You're like the best Saruman possible. Oh, I like that he explicitly went up to Ian McKellen and told him that Tolkien told him that he could be <laughs> Gandalf. It's like, Mom said that I could play. <laughs> yeah, <I'm not> <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> the love of the halfling's leaf has clearly slowed your mind. But we still have time. Ian McKell's like, yes, but you're so good at playing evil bastards. <laughs> Gaze pierces cloud, shadow, earth, and flesh. This always reminds me as well, like seeing him here and like how, how focused and intense he is. It just reminds me of The Hobbit where like Christopher Lee is clearly oh, yeah. fading Aww. out. And he just looks so plasticky and fake. Wait, wait, you didn't like the massive action sequence where Galadriel, Elrond, Elrond yeah. and Saruman are in the big epic action sequence fighting off all of the ghosty ring wraiths? No, that when, I loved. I honestly was waiting for him to go, it's wizard in time. And then he wizards all over I the back. Like yeah. I like that scene. I have special personal reasons for liking it. A great eye, lidless, breathed in flame. Yeah, I'm Sauron. Yeah, but I was actually going to say, the uh, what I liked about that scene as well, the dialogue, he's he's bigging up Sauron hugely. Very soon he will have summoned an army great enough to launch an assault upon Middle-earth. And I think first time around you might be like, well, he says he's just trying to make the threat clear. And it's like, well, no, he's kind of on his team and he's trying to already convince Gandalf. Like, this guy is pretty strong. We should probably. Oh. We do not know who else may be watching. There it is. I love that yeah. shit and the realization. The nine have left Minas Morgul. They've reached the shore. Have you seen that behind the scenes clip where uh, Chris Felice tried to walk down those stairs? And he's like, Peter, I can't. I, can't. <laughs> I just, I can't. I'm, I'm going to trip up over. <laughs> Advise, persuade. I'm sorry, I cannot get up these goddamn steps smoothly. Build me an army worthy of Mordor. I like that Saruman looked really fucked up after that conversation. With, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah well, exactly. Presumably, is that because he's, he knows Sauron's... now the full scope of the plan, so to speak? Well, I think it's just really mentally overwhelming just to be exposed to that. We have work to do. Do you remember what it does to uh, Pippin uh, yeah, yeah, later yeah. on? Yeah. Right? Yeah. He just touches it for a little bit and he's like, oh shit. He can't even pull away. Well, I always found the interesting okay. part is Aragorn touched it for like a second, right? And he's like knocked out yeah. almost. Yeah. Let us go through the mines of Moria. I love this voice over here. You fear to go in there. You fear to go into those mines. The dwarves delve too greedily and too deep. Sorry, man. This place is looking a little less, you know, welcoming. It used to be, I mean, yeah. Who now has the strength to stand against the armies of Isengard and Mordor? Is this one of those moments oh, where he's like, so I've got, like I'm coming up to 5,000, nearly 10,000. Sauron's like, yeah, that's, that's cool and everything. I've got about 100k, yeah. but, uh, <laughs> yeah. you know. Yeah, that's a... yeah, I've got like a million here, so. Keep going, champ. Do you have any, no um, do you have any siege towers? Yeah. And Sauron's like, I haven't well, unlocked siege towers, man. Is <laughs> My lord Sauron, we shall rule this middle earth. Do you lay these troubles on an already troubled mind? But, uh, Do you not see, King Thaden, that Aramur is trying to gaslight you? Truly, if there's one person you can trust, it's Worm Tongue. Oh yeah. Yep. I mean, just look at look at him. I mean, wouldn't you trust that man? How long is it since Saruman born you? Brad Dorif had to shave his eyebrows many times when filming this <laughs> to keep the uh right. Sometimes it's something you don't notice until you get it pointed out. What was the promised price, Grima? When all the men are dead, you will take your share of the treasure. He didn't wax? No, I don't think so. That fool. Too long have you watched my sister. Too long have you haunted her steps. You don't want to pull any out too far. Yeah, he does want to come back. Then. Even his eyelashes are, are. Does he even have eyelashes? Uh, I think he does. Just a little bit. They just seem just a little bit. Too, no. Yeah, he does. That'd be yeah. hardcore. I was going to say, if they took out his fucking you eyelashes, can. damn. <laughs> you are banished forthwith from the kingdom of Rohan. He's affecting a, a British accent for this when he's American, and apparently, like, by the time they hit the end of filming, uh, Bearded Hill thought he was uh, British. So when he started speaking American, he's like, why are you, why are you like, making up a voice? What's, like, what are you doing? He's like, no. <laughs> a tragedy for the king to lose his only son and heir. But Grima, you have to know how creepy you are, right? You are a creeper, just so we're clear. Leave me alone, snake! But you are alone. 
Dude, you'd look so much better if you just took a shower. <laughs> yeah. So fair. So cold. Also, also change like, your name. Worms. Get some, get some really sun as well. Your... <laughs> well, I was actually going to ask, do the books give anything on, like, where did his name come from? Is that a name given to him, or is that his reputation, or is that an actual well, like, family I, name? It, it's, it, it's... Your words are poison. It's worm tongue is like an un, like a nickname that he it's like yes. an unofficial right. thing that people call him behind his back almost like he doesn't really answer to that. He just owned it. Yeah. Well, because Grima is not a but. <laughs> yeah, he's trying. He's trying to make it work. Well, maybe he just led into it. He's the goth of Rohan. So listen to the cure. They want me to be a worm tongue, do they? Well, I'll give them a worm tongue. That was seriously a move of yeah. like, what am I doing wrong? Yeah. You just can't make it work, that old green That works on all the women. Courtesy of your hall is somewhat lessened of late. He's not welcome. He's such a slimy little <laughs> fucking loser, isn't he? <laughs> like, for one time. Uh-huh. You kind of hate him. Late is the hour in which this conjurer chooses to appear. Oh, what a late. suck ass. Late is the hour. Oh, seems so good. Be silent. Keep your full tongue behind your teeth. <laughs> that was such a like, to be excuse silent. me. Such a great put down. Stop. Oh yeah. Mm. I have not passed through far and death to bandy crooked words with a witless worm. He's like, oh fuck this stuff. <laughs> I thought it was pretty straightforward. He's a wizard. <laughs> As he seek to humble me with his newfound piety. You seem a little insecure, there, Saruman. He seems a little bit cockish <laughs> right now, doesn't he? Yeah, you're a little bit, a little bit cockish here. <laughs> Well, I was sorry. I was the white one. How come he gets to be the white one? You stink of horse. That's not fair at all. <laughs> you stink was of horse. Wasn't I white enough for whoever it is decides these things? The man. Was he from Gondor? No, from the north. He bore a strange ring. Extremely good eyesight to notice that. I mean, I can believe he's very observant. You know, Grima Wormtongue. Two serpents with emerald eyes. One devouring. When you're spitting on someone's hand, you do notice their rings. Flowers. The lost king of Gondor. He is a fool. <laughs> so I was like, this would never work. What a stupid and crazy plan. We better crush him <laughs> to make sure it doesn't work. <laughs> like I said, it's just cock energy. Like <laughs> calls up Gandalf. I was like, what a stupid plan you have. It's never, ever, ever gonna work. But where are you? <laughs> I just wanna. Guys, we gotta move faster. I know it's a marathon, not a sprint, but still. Yeah, come on. Yeah, come on. Come on, Grandma, pick, pick it up. a little bit. They will flee to Helm's Deep, the great fortress of Rohan. They will have women. They will have women. And children. And children. Them. That look on his face. <laughs> yeah. What are we uh, to interpret for that exactly? Is it the <laughs> is the angle there that Saruman's like, oh, they're gonna be fucking screwed if we attack them now? Well, yeah, they'll be slowed down, yeah. Yeah. yeah, they have a lot. Because yeah. they'll uh, use their goodness against them. You wouldn't want like the interpretation to just be the Sarbot really likes killing children. That's just oh, number one. I, I do like this bit where he comes yeah. forward towards it. Yeah, <laughs> Sarbot's yeah. like, "Fuck off!" This is such a like. Why do I keep you around? Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> Blow up the there's whole a, fucking tower. There's a really good edit where the candle falls in and you just see <laughs> the, the windows of the tower explode. From the <laughs> Cuts back to the both with soot on their faces and their hair like blown up. Saruman the Black. Oh, this scene is so oh, shit. good. There's, a, see, there's a couple for Saruman, but this is like beast. No, but even for Grima, like when he sees yeah. this and the tear comes down his eye, you, like you see, like he, that's a little bit of regret. It's like, oh shit. It's victory. Oh, his it's voice. I love how Saruman's got that huge staff and then Grima's just holding that little fucking candle. That is blown out. It's already gone out. It's blown out. Yeah. That's a good candle, man. Oh my god. <laughs> Look at this. Look at this. March to Helm's Deep. March to Helm's Deep. Leave none alive. Leave none alive. Even the rats. There will be no door for men. Not, but not me, right? I'm cool. Oh, but what about women? Okay. And the children, too. I mean, you know Grim is thinking about that. He's like, you're, you're going to leave me alive after all this, aren't you? We're good, right? We're good? Yeah, we're good. Just making sure we're, we are good. 
You know, I was just thinking about it. Saruman isn't actually in Lord of the Rings for that long, is he? No, not really. Mm -mm. And yet, is that like sort of ratio of time well spent makes you feel like he's a big part of it? Is it yeah, like it's raw like time. There's Any no time with Christopher scene. Lee is time well spent, I would say. Yeah. yeah. It's all memorable. Agreed. He's saying yeah. something amazing or casting <clears throat> a cool spell or you get some neat visual. So it all sticks with you in your mind. And you've got his presence, even in the scenes where he's not, you know, actually present. Compared name three to, scenes I mean, where he's not present. Name three scenes. Who's on, yeah, name you know. three scenes where he's oh, not shit. present. Oh, damn. Um, oh. Bet you can't even think of two. Oh, oh yeah, that's a bit of a struggle there. I wonder if did Count Dooku? How much screen time did Count Dooku have? Not he much. Didn't have much at all. Not much either. Yeah. But he's beloved by the fans. <laughs> oh, and you yeah. know what? He didn't get much screen time in Sleepy Hollow either. Well, barely any, because he was just in the one scene, I think, right? But that's Chris Lee. Funny, because Saruman's only in like three chapters in the entire trilogy of books. He doesn't even show up for the first time until the last chapter. Or no, he's like the halfway final through. Chapter. You have to say the final chapter. No, I don't. Lord of the Rings, until... the final chapter is the movie. <laughs> it doesn't show up until like the last Aragorn chapter of Two Towers. Really? Which is like halfway through the book. Yeah, mm. it's halfway through the book, but it's technically the end of just... It, the books are kind of weirdly paced. The first half of it is all Aragorn's story, and then the second half of it is all Frodo's story. Yeah, Two Towers ends with them going to Isengard, and that's the first time that you see Saruman in the books. Then you don't see him again until the end of Return of the King. Not looking good, Saruman. No. Nope. Now you're gonna fuck uh -oh. up Isengard now. Yep. You're done, boy. Now the ants are, they're perturbed. <laughs> you motherfucker! <laughs> you count us down! What is happening? Oh, I'm gonna oh hit my you God. and kick you. I, yeah, I will say, the, considering Carter. some of these were literally bored yesterday, they're probably like, what the fuck is happening? <laughs> what world have right? I been spawned into? No, this this part, people were cheering in the theaters. I freaking loved it. Yeah. Not too happy at all, Mary. <laughs> yeah, it's been a shit day for him, hasn't it? <laughs> that would be funny if these two just waved to Saruman and he's like, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Will this day get any weirder? <laughs> and I'm a wizard. When you hang from a gibbet, we shall have peace. Gibbets and crows. Dota. Gibbet. Dota. What do you want, Gandalf Greyhame? Oh, this fucking shot. Look at that. Oh, so cool. Perhaps the keys of Baradur itself? Along with the crowns of the seven kings and the rods of the five wizards. Here he is talking about the rods of the five wizards. Yeah, again. Gandalf's like, is. okay, stop fucking around. Okay, stop. <laughs> Wait, come on. Even now, he presses his advantage. He's got a, such a great staff, too. The staff is like the tower, and it's got yep. the orb on the top. Oh, it's so great. You cannot think that this ranger will ever sit upon the throne of Gondor. Uh, yeah, it's really cool. The sort of the the common themes and a lot of the like aligned architecture and equipment. Yeah, it's when they put a lot of effort into. This exile crept from the shadows will never be crowned king. God, yeah, I love the I, dressing down of like everybody. Yeah. Fucking go around all of them. Get Gimli. <laughs> what words of comfort did you give the halfling before you sent him to his doom? What would he say no, about no, Gimli? Gimli you and fat, Gimli, short, he, useless he piece of far. shit. <laughs> you Grab short bigger, do fuck. It. Shoot him! Stick an arrow in his gob! No! Stick an arrow in his gob. Save your pity and your mercy! I have no use for it! Hey! Go, oh, eat a fireball! Oh god, shit! Oh, the end all's dead. No. Saruman! Your staff is broken. <laughs> Oh shit! Gotcha! What a Chad! There he is. What a Chad move. Yeah. Prima, you need not follow him. You were once a man of Rohan. Dude, the fact that Theoden's immediately like come and join you us. Know, yeah, yeah, please, like you know, see the fucking light, bro. What is the house of Rohan? But a thatched barn where brigands drink in the reek and their brats roll on the floor with the dogs. Boo! Oh. Theoden, horse master, or a lesser son. Of greater science. Damn, hitting him right in the insecurities. Mm hmm. And he ignores him. I, you withdraw your guard, and I will tell you where your doom will be decided. I like how, in interview with Christopher Lee, when he was talking about this scene, he described that as saying very rude things to all the other characters. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they are quite oh, rude. Yeah, rude. They I know, it's just like, rude. it's a funny way of describing it. <gasps> 
kind of feel bad, but also you do. that reaction. It's a bit of a, a yeah. I mean, you you know, you stabbing the guy I in the back. Shot, Jesus. I wonder which uh, of Christopher Lee's stabbing victims he was thinking about when he was acting and out getting stabbed. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This is the thing about Lord of the Rings. Everyone's talked about all of a, a lot of trivia to do with it that it gets almost repellent to repeat them when everyone's like, I already know this one. But I was just thinking about what everyone probably does know. The, uh, the way they, they staked Christopher Lee on a wooden wheel there was deliberate. Yeah. Like, that's just yeah. fucking awesome. Yep.